Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting a new stationery haul. Um, I haven't really been buying stationery lately, but this was kind of like a rep order um, with some credit I had received from Mickey. So I thought I would just, you know, film it. We'll see if I upload it. If you guys are seeing this right now, obviously I did. But yeah, I still like sharing my stationery. And for the people who do like to watch these videos, I hope you enjoy. Anyway, um, so like I said, I got some credit after my rep term with Mickey. Um, so she sent me a cute little note. She's so nice. And then this is the back of the card. Super cute. Um, and I ordered a, oops, floral grab bag and also just a regular floral grab bag. So um, the freebies I got were this cute little fall freebie, which um, I'll probably pass on even though it's super cute. Or maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. Um, and then I got this soft floral freebie, which would be super nice for a spring spread. I got this, um, I think... The person who runs this account is named Ola. I'm not sure. Um, I used her, or I didn't use her rep code. I mentioned her name in the notes to get this extra freebie, which is so pretty. I love this one right here with the mushrooms. So yeah, that was the freebies. And then, I, like I mentioned, I got the floral grab bag. This has five sheets in it. And this is just five random sheets of florals, which are my favorite stickers from our shop. So this one is called FL013, um, or maybe it's FLO173. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's super pretty. I love these colors. And this one right here with the calla lilies is probably my favorite. Then we got this houseplant sheet. Super cute. Can't wait to use these. I got this um, really adorable plant cups sheet. I love all the fun colors. We'll definitely be going in a spread. And this is so whimsical and so pretty. This is called moss. And then lastly, we have pink florals. Floral 058. And I actually got this in this pack too so I'll show you that in a second but yeah this one is so pretty very pastel and pink and light love it anyway um here was the oops grab bag so this had 10 sheets so it was really affordable um this is I don't know how to say this Atomi Atomi not sure number four has some really bright colors which is really fun then I got these two kind of matching sheets these are called leaves there's 41 and 42 so they're kind of like abstract and these colors are really nice and neutral so they'll definitely be super easy to pull in I got this sheet which is really fun it's called boho wild and also these ones are smaller I'm not really sure what the difference is I think she might have made her sheets bigger recently not 100% sure but yeah this is boho wild we have pink florals 58 which like I said um is the same sheet as this but smaller so I think she might have upgraded her sheets to this bigger size recently and so her grab bags have a lot of just like the smaller sheets that were her old style so yeah here we have pink florals then we have teapot this one is so cute like I'm obsessed with this sheet um and honestly a lot of the oops I have no idea what they are so maybe it's just old stock I can tell you but yeah so pretty this sheet I already have this is floral a number 46 um but I'm happy to have more can definitely make a journal spread out of those these ones are super fun. These are the moons. There's like different moon phases, which I love. Then we have dark rose. This one is also very pretty. I love the um, warm orange with the like navy blue black color. And then lastly, I got this rose gold foil sheet, which is so stunning. Like, what? That is so pretty. I hope you guys can tell on camera. But anyway, yeah, so that was my order rep rep order with some credit um just want to make sure that you guys know that i did have some credit to use but yeah that was everything that i got from pineberry paper co i hope you guys um will give her shop a chance she seriously has so much run wonderful stickers so many wonderful stickers and yeah i would definitely recommend so i will link her shop down below if you're interested and i will see you guys in the next part hi guys i'm back with another stationary haul bit um i have quite a few things here to show you a giveaway prize and just something i picked up so let's just get right into it this was a journal from michael's it was on clearance for three dollars it has gold foil so pretty like adventure wades i would definitely use this as a travel journal if there weren't so many pages it has a hundred oh, sorry 240 pages which is a lot however the paper quality is not that great so i have a feeling i will be sticking a lot of pages together but i don't mind um anyway i've never used a spiral bound as my daily journal before but i thought it would be fun to try it out especially for such a great price i just couldn't pass it pass on it <laughs> anyway super pretty really excited to use that and then we have my giveaway prize from Filofax. I won a giveaway hosted by Bujo with me. Um, and so, yeah, I got a bunch of things, which is super exciting. The first thing is this really pretty, really quality looking ballpoint pen. It has some gold and white polka dots on it and like gold hardware. Very pretty. 
Then I also got a set of three washi tapes. That one has like a dot on it, so we'll look at this side. It has like a brown one, a white one, and a craft papery type one with some really minimal polka dots. Super fun. Then I got this magnetic clip. It's like to use as a bookmark in your journal or planner. I think that's really fun and really exciting and also looks very like chic. So that's kind of new for me. Um, then we have some sticky notes and some stickers. These can definitely go in the planner if I choose to use it next year, we'll see. Um, and then this is also really exciting. It's a little pencil pouch, um, but it like clips in. Or does it clip into this? What does this clip into? I have no idea, but it has three holes. I guess I could always just like use it as a regular pencil pouch. Um, it's also very pretty, has gold and white polka dots, very minimalist, very sleek. So that's super exciting. Um, then I got this little planner. It's a pocket size, which is just so cute. Um, it's like a pinky color. I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be white, but it looks kind of pink to me, so I'm not sure. It says plans on the front in gold foil. And there's some... Oops, I'm just going to take this off so we can look at it a little more in depth. Um, it has some, I think these are for cards, so card pockets here and just another pocket right here. Um, it has, oh yeah, this is the Moonlight Collection, by the way. Anyway, it has 2023 planner pages, so you can just write like small things down. I think it's super cute and really fun. I just love like the little size. Like, isn't that so cute? Um, there's a bunch of extra tabs in the back some extra paper inserts, a little ruler, which is really cute, um, and a little pocket for you to put in like stationery, I guess. And then a big pocket in the back. So this is super fun. Um, I think it's super pretty. I might just have to use this next year. I don't know, it's so cute. Anyway, um, then we have a notebook. So funny how I never use spiral bound notebooks, but somehow I have two in this part of the haul. This is again, Part of their Moonlight Collection, everything is. There are quite a few pages in here, which is really nice. Um, it's kind of a bigger size as well, so I might end up doing like one page of writing on these. I don't know. Um, the paper quality feels really nice and thick. The lines are blue, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I think it'll be okay. Um, and yeah, I think it's just super pretty, which is really exciting. So that is it for this part of the haul. So many fun things. I'm so excited to use everything. Um, thank you to Filofax and Boudreaux with me for the giveaway, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Hi guys, welcome back to another stationary haul bit. I have a few things here to show you, so let's just get right into it. The first thing I have are just two of these jumbo glue sticks. I got them from the dollar store for $2. It's the best deal I can find. Um, so I got those. For my birthday, my friends got me this six pack of Tombow Fudenosuke brush pants. There is a soft tip and a hard tip. This was a really good deal. Um, I put it on my wish list, so I know how much it was, but it was $15 Canadian for six of these, which normally it's like $10 for two. So to get four more for five dollars is a really good deal anyway these are from amazon i'll try to link it down below if i remember if i don't just yell at me um but yeah super excited to have these i did have this one um but it's kind of like dried out and doesn't have much ink anymore so i'm excited to have lots of replacements and then i um did a sort of swap slash um katie from pleasantly postal was giving away a bunch of her empty notebooks so i thought why not since they looked really nice um and yeah so she was super nice and sent these to me so the first one is this really pretty one. It looks like it's from, oh, I knew it. I knew it was going to be from Indigo. Um, this one has like some rose gold detailing. Hopefully you can see. It says life is a journey. Take notes along the way. Um, and it has this gorgeous floral pattern. And it's just a super cute lined notebook. The lines are pretty small. So this would be interesting to use. Maybe I won't use it as a daily journal. But I just feel like it's so cute and I have to. But I don't know. This is really small. And I don't know how my... um journal spreads would look with this like my bookish spread so maybe i'd have to do that in a separate journal in the meantime i don't know um but yeah this one is super exciting really pretty i've always thought indigo notebooks were so pretty but they're so expensive so i never bought one um anyway the next one i got from her is this stunning travel journal i will for sure be using this sometime when i go on a trip maybe to europe i would love to go to europe but yeah this is like gorgeous like look at it so freaking pretty I don't know, I'm just obsessed with this. Anyway, it has an elastic, um, a fleur de lis here, and then just very cream pages. So that's the one thing that I don't love about this, which is why I probably wouldn't use it as a regular daily journal, just because the pages are so yellowy. Um, but I definitely don't mind using it as a travel journal, although there's a lot of pages, so it would have to be a pretty long trip. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. I'm super excited to add it to my collection. Again, thank you so much, Katie. Um, on the off chance that you're watching for sending me these like I'm super grateful and yeah I will see you guys in the next part
Hi guys, welcome back to probably what's going to be the final part of this stationery haul. I obviously just have a few things to show you guys. And yeah, so the first thing I got, um, I went to Dollarama earlier today and picked up this notebook. You guys know that these faux wood grain notebooks are my favorite. Um, they come with 192 pages, line pages, um, and a pocket, an elastic, a bookmark, all the basic things. And I love these notebooks. They are so neutral and I like decorating the cover with a sticker. So yeah, these are my favorite. Um, I haven't done this like tint of the wood grain in a while. So I'm excited to have one again just to add to the collection. Um, next, I also got my favorite pens. You guys already know these are these just black gel pens. There's 12 of them for $2.50, which I think is a very good deal. So if you live in Canada, definitely recommend picking these up. Next, I also got a glue stick. These jumbo ones are only $2 at the dollar store, so always pick one up whenever I go just to stock up. Um, glue sticks are essential if you're a journaler, as you guys probably know. And then I actually recently went to Canadian Tire, um, and whenever I'm at a hardware store, I always go for the paint samples since they're free and just a perfect way to add to like your journaling ephemera. Um, I got a bunch of different colors, as you can see. Um, just lots and lots of colors. Some of them I've already used, which, yeah. Um, I just love collecting these. They're a perfect free way to add like colored paper to your collection. And there's just so many nice colors that you can use for your journaling. So that is actually all I have for today. Very small part. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!